Dr. Amy Guernsey with University Veterinary Care Centers joining us by Skype for today's pet advice. Good morning, Dr. Guernsey. Good morning. We are talking rats this morning, and I gotta say, when I'm thinking about pets that I wanna cuddle with, a rat has not been high on my list. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, then you haven't met enough rats yet because oh, they're great no. pets. <laughs> do you see a lot of pet rats in your practice? We do. Um, you know, they're they're very easy keepers. They don't require crazy special diets. Um, you know, their cage requirements are pretty easy. Um, they're very intelligent, very trainable, very social animals. So we see quite a few of them. Okay, you said trainable. What kind of things are we talking about here? Um, so there's a reason they're used in research a lot, specifically psychology departments. You know, you can teach them to run through a maze. Um, I've had friends that taught them to do tightrope walking. Um, you know, they can they can do a lot of different cute tricks. Um, they're they're really intelligent. That's amazing. I want to see that. <laughs> tightrope walking. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> yep, YouTube. Well, what are some things that we need to consider before bringing a rat into our home? You know, with any species, you want to research their specific requirements. Um, they are a species that tends to be more prone to respiratory infections. So I do recommend um, for caging requirements, making sure that you have more of an open air cage rather than an aquarium um, to allow more ventilation and, and lessen their chances of getting a respiratory problem. Um, but they're not like a goldfish. You don't want to just stick them in the cage and forget about them. Not that you would do that with a goldfish. Um, but you do want to bring them out and play with them every day. Um, they're social, they want to exercise, they want to interact with you, they don't want to live their entire life in a cage. Well, I can't blame them for that. And do they require vaccinations and checkups like you would have with your cat and your dog? Well, we certainly encourage getting an exam on your rat every six to 12 months, um, more so because they, they have that propensity for respiratory diseases. They also have an increased risk of developing different kinds of tumors. Um, so we just want to make sure that they're healthy, but they don't really have any vaccine requirements. And you mentioned that they're pretty social. Do they do well by themselves or do they really need to have a, a, a partner? You know, I think they do better with a partner or a friend in their cage, but if you're interacting with them daily and playing with them daily, they can get a lot of, out of that too and do fine as a solo pet. Okay, well, I have a feeling my kids are going to be asking me now for some pet rats after seeing this. Yeah. <laughs> get over the tail, they're great. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Guernsey. And for more information about University Veterinary Care Center, head over to universityvetcare.com.